Hey Pisces, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing, doing well and taking care of yourselves. Happy New Year. Let us see what the universe has for you Pisces. Uh oh, Aquarius. Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an end. Mm. Five of Swords. Mm, I feel like you guys just had an honest conversation or somebody just dropped a bomb on you when you're hearing. Something is hard on somebody, like they're struggling. Struggling with motivation, struggling to see a way out, struggling to remove some burdens. But they're struggling because of how they think or what they think. Um, they need to trust the process and trust that there will be a way out, that you guys will come to a fair resolution. Look at the Ten of Swords on Ten of Swords. Good Moses, who are you dealing with? Queen of Wands. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. What do we have going on, Pisces? Trying my, adjusting my tripod. Alrighty. I think that's good. Good. Somebody is kind of questioning, should, should I have come back? Should I have, you know, should we, did we get back together too soon? Did, did we, you know, did we really think this out? Did we, um, it, it, it's weird because I don't see the two of pentacles, which is my second guessing card, right? But when I think about this, um, or when I'm channeling for this king of swords and also the six of cups, I feel like whether it was you or your person, I kind of feel like it might've been you Pisces. It's almost like you brought this person back, you accepted this person back, or they accepted you back. You guys, you guys kind of got back together because you love each other, but I kind of feel like you're now second guessing or wondering if that was the right thing to do, right? And here's why. Here's why, why in a nutshell, because it's hard, right? I kind of feel like you accepted them back because of the love and emotion and how you make each other feel. But I feel like them coming back has been anything but, right? It's been hard, it's been a struggle. It's, you know, we can't seem to get out of our own way and you're thinking this way and has this perception of me and I can't seem to shake the things you said or the things that you've done. You guys are mirroring each other, right? You're basically living in the past is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Ten of Wands and Five of Pentacles, yeah. You guys are looking for the other person to fill a void that they're not going to be able to fill, right? But I don't know if you guys know that. I don't think you're practicing that, right? So the energy I'm getting is like you guys came back together. But it's almost like you came back together based on attachment or codependency or something of that nature, right? And while you are back together, you're thinking negatively, they're thinking neg negatively, they're thinking about the past, thinking about the past, you're being insecure, right? You guys are mirroring each other. And because you're mirroring each other, you're bumping heads, right? But separation is not an option because of that codependency, right? Like that magnetism is like, no. You know, and now I think this reading is is questioning exactly that process. Did we come back together too soon or based on love when it really should have been based on healing or cleansing or, you know, a different or brighter outlook? Like, did we basically jump the gun? That's what I'm getting intuitively, right? And um, intuitively from these cards, I should say. 
now you guys have to kind of figure out the path forward. And here's the magnetism right here, that Queen of Wands. You guys, to an extent, kind of quote unquote, felt like you couldn't live without each other or you, you shouldn't be without each other. Or yeah, we could fix this internally or we could fix this within. But you're struggling. You're struggling. Now here with the Five of Swords and the Two of Wands, yeah, you guys are back. You're back where you were when you were separated, right? You're coming full circle as in, I don't, I don't know how to go on. I don't know if we should go on or I don't know if we should call this quits, right? But what I'm also hearing too is if you feel like you should call this quits because it's not working, you're being emotionally triggered, right? You're fearful. It's like, okay, but no, I don't know if I want to let you go. I don't know if I'm ready to live without you or you know what I mean? And you need a new approach, right? You need, you need a new approach free from this, right? Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning opportunity energy. You guys both need cleansing, healing, counseling, whatever you want to call it. Not only that, but with the um, judgment card here too, that's the only way that this is going to work, right? That judgment card is a resurrection. It's like, okay, hearing the inner calling, knowing what needs to be done, um, you know, kind of receiving instructions from the universe and then go forth, art thou and beep, you know what I mean? And here's the go forth. Here are the two paths in front of you. And this is you questioning, uh, will we go forth together or separate or, you know what I mean? And two, what I'm also getting as well is nobody wants to make that determination. So you guys are all kinds of lost Pisces. Okay. And if I were you, I would grab up a relationship counselor really quick. Um, you know, relationship coach, relationship counseling um, to help relieve the the all that the, this Ten of Swords represents, right? Whether it's residue from the past, whether it's, you know, somebody feeling like they are saving the relationship or because you guys are together because of them, that martyrdom, that... You know, I'm willing to be with you, but, you know, I just, I just need to know you appreciate me. Uh, yeah. All right. Moving on. We have Aquarius here. We have Aries. We have Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. That Martian energy. Yeah, there is a fear of letting go, uh, living without abandonment. But wait, what else you got for us, baby Jesus? Uh, within the next few weeks, okay? No. Yes. If that's not Pisces right there, I don't know what is. Reconsider. You guys need to come up with a game plan, right? You need to come up with a game plan first to heal and then to figure out once you are healed, are you guys still compatible? Are we still, are, are, yeah, are we basically still a good unit? Right. We got it. There's got to be something else other than love or because we belong together or because we're afraid to be with that. Uh, that does not a relationship make. Can't make this stuff up. It's time to release negativity. Duh. <laughs> Nothing is yet set in stone. Y'all still trying to figure it out. What do you need to release? We saw release um, fear. It's time to release fear. Well, we already know what we need to release. Prosperity lies ahead. Ace of Pentacles. All right, my lovely Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Pisces. Bye.